Hey guys, Chris here from Spartan. Have our extreme core trainer and the lightest band that we have for sale. Now you're probably wondering, what is this all about? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can add some pretty intense resistance using not a lot of band uh, to a pretty creative tool, which is the extreme core trainer. Just by simply wrapping this around the bar once and then standing in it with my foot, what I'm doing is creating an extreme amount of resistance as I get to my natural top end of my strength curve. So at this top position, that's where I'm my strongest, and that's where the band is providing the most amount of resistance. As it deloads and comes back down to my shoulder, the band softens off and allows me to then start creating that press again. So it's working with your natural strength curve. It also allows me to get quite powerful. So if I step back into a bit of a fighting stance, you can really explode through that motion. Now if you just had a normal amount of weight on there, naturally it's going to want to keep traveling up and away so it makes it a lot harder to control back to your body. The band pulls it back down in a nice safe position. So it's a really cool and interesting way to start using your bands and the Extreme Core Trainer. We looked at rotational training in the previous videos. Again, we can use the band to add a resistance so we can create a bit more power. So from this down position, explode up, control down, explode up, control down. So anyone with sport specific needs that needs to create power, especially through a rotational plane, adding a band is gonna make a massive difference. Now, this is about all you can do. As long as you get creative, using a band can be as much fun as you want it to be. What I do have here is a super heavy kettlebell. It's a 48 kilo competition bell. And this is now gonna provide diagonal resistance throughout these movements. Just by slipping it around the post again. When I go to do a normal press, naturally my hand wants to be pulled out to the side starts engaging all the muscles around my shoulder, rotator cuff, lat, rhomboid, to stabilize. Otherwise, it pulls off to the side. So you're pressing through a diagonal range, which is hard to do anyway, now with resistance off to one side. Again, rotational training. Exploding up to one side, a lot of diagonal pull down to, down and away. So it's making me really over contract the muscles of my core and it's hard work. So, if you're looking for a great way to make this amazing tool already, with, which has heaps of versatile, a lot more interesting, you can add a band of whatever weight you like. You can find them, the complete range, at kerbells.nu.